Hi everybody and welcome back to the Beekeeper's Woodshop. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to create entrance reducers for both 10 frame and 8 frame lengths for beehives. So stick with us, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, your first step today is going to be to grab some scrap lumber. Any pine will work. Um, a lot of beekeepers have been asking me lately uh, on some forums where a good place to find cheap or free wood is. Uh, we don't pay for any of this wood and this wood is what we make all of our frames and entrance reducers, uh, the outside frame of bottom boards, all of that. We don't pay a penny for this. Um, contact a local wood products manufacturer near you, specifically wood molding companies or anybody that makes wood products they have to pay to have their scrap lumber hauled off and will gladly give it to you for free. We get truckloads of this, literally. They bring a forklift out to us and fill up our, our trucks and trailers uh, with this stuff. We stack it up and this is what we use uh, uh, to make those type of things for our bee yards. And it doesn't cost us a penny. They're happy for you to take it because they pay by the ton or whatever to have it hauled off. So every pound you can take from them saves them money. So that's a good tip for you. So anyway, first step is going to be to rough cut your lumber uh, to size for a Langstroth 8 frame hive. You're going to need a piece that's 12 and 1 8 inches long. And for a 10 frame version of the Langstroth hive entrance reducer, you're going to need a piece that's 14 and 3 quarters inches long. So we'll go ahead and get this cut to rough right now, or cut, cut to final dimensions right now. We'll be right back. Alright, now that you've got your lumber cut three quarters by three quarters and the appropriate length for the size hive that you're cutting it for, you're going to want to start marking out where you're going to, to make your holes for the bee entrances. To do that, the first thing we're going to do is measure two inches from one end. Like that. All right, now that you've made a one mark two inches from one end, you're going to make a second mark two and three quarter inches from the same end. Like so. Now simply scribe your lines where you measured those marks. What you're left with is a three quarter inch wide measurement. When we cut this for the B entrance, we'll cut it three eighths of an inch deep. So this portion will be cut out. We'll show you that process in a moment. Now though, we need to measure the other end for the larger opening. So to do that, We're going to measure out two inches from the other end again, the opposite end. You see we've already marked this end. We're going to come out two inches from the opposite end. And then six inches from the end past. So from the end of the wood, come back six inches. and then scribe your lines. Now what you're left with here is a four inch wide opening. This will be your large entrance. And again, we'll come three eighths of an inch and cut this out. This can be done with a table saw or a router. Either way. Our next step is to make sure that we set our blade depth on our table saw to 3 eighths of an inch deep. Alright, 
that's done, we can go ahead and start making our cuts. Alright guys, so the way that you want to cut this with the small opening, with the small opening facing to your right, the large opening should be facing up. This way when you put it under the hive, the large opening forms a 3 eighths of an inch wide opening and the small entrance is closed. Turn it to open the small entrance and it closes the large entrance. See? Put a pencil through there for you. Bees get in there, can no longer get out over here. Pretty simple project. Any beekeeper should be able to make these with a simple table saw or, or even a skill saw as long as you set your blade depth on your skill saw to 3 eighths of an inch and then make a series of cuts in your wood you're going to come out with what you need. Alright guys and gals that's all there is to making your own entrance reducers. The dimensions for the wood you're going to need are in the comments below. Visit funnybugbees.com we have these for sale 90 cents a piece if you'd rather not make them yourself and if you'll use coupon code YouTube Reducer, just like it's spelled, you'll get 10% off of these if you order them from us. We hope you found the video informative. If you have any questions, post comments below and please like and subscribe. Thank you.